everyone. It's Trish Biondo. You know, we went to Vegas for the Academy of Country Music Awards and we had a lot of fun. So let me show you some of the fun we had right now on All Access. This is how Trish flies. We have a book. We have a magazine. We have another magazine. <laughs> we have another magazine. We have M&M's. Oh, my m and iPod. We have a big Harry Potter book. It's nice. That's good. Not big and Harry. It's big because it's Harry. It's nice. I have a people and m and and that's it. I mean, seriously. Look, I mean, hardly anything. Really a lot of stuff. <laughs> and other stuff. This is show prop. See? <gasps> oh, foreshadowing. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. We're in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand. These are like all the radio people from around the country. Well, she's not. That's Liz. Liz, wave, say hi. We all love Liz. Liz runs the station. And so we're just here. We've got a little break. We're waiting for more stars to come by and do some interviews. Look, we've got a big long list. I had a lot of homework last night. <gasps> Let me show you the book they give me. You won't believe it. So while the girls are out, this is what I'm doing. I'm figuring out who all these people are. You what know are that you? one is? That one's the one with the red hair. Yeah, that's that. Reba. Yeah, you might know her. You might have heard of her. <laughs> it's one of those songs that uh, it's just a it's just a little old country song, really. There's no trick to it. It's just um, the way I felt. To be honest with you, I was just mad as hell. Right, like so many are. Just mad. I mean, just put out. And um, as a songwriter, I sat down, wrote a song about it, about the way I felt, and. Uh, it came from the heart, and it seems like a lot of people across the country feel the same way I do. And uh, we don't like what we're seeing, and we, we feel a little uh, little upset about it. But, you know, the, the ACM uh, called me and said, would you come sing this song on our show? I said, my God, absolutely. It feels like we've, we've been waiting on this thing to come out forever. And, uh, you know, now it's almost here, so it's, it's exciting. I mean, there's a lot of work involved when a new record comes out. Uh, you know, but at the end of the week, you're just, you know, it's uh, you're thankful and just glad that it's out there. Gives us a chance to play some new music from the album, and and it's uh, so it's it's great. I can't wait to to put it out there, get some feedback on. It. Uh, to to ever, you know, ever even imagine playing Wrigley Field, you know, it's just gonna be in incredible. It so. is the first time a country concert has ever been staged at Wrigley Field. Yeah, you know, big big kudos to our promoter uh, Brian O'Connor. You know, he he's he made it all happen. Out. Yeah, he's yes. he's Cub fanatic. So we uh, we're looking forward and just coming, getting Cub all over. I know every every little table I've been to has candy, and I've been shutting at my purse. <laughs> Well, that's good store. you need it because you have to sustain the energy out yeah, here. Yeah, get some sugar, keep the, you know. Did you go out last night? I did. Um, Hillary from Lady Annabelle, it was her birthday um, party, so we went out and uh, it was a long night. Yeah, lots of Red Bull. <laughs> and of course, the movie comes out April 10th, looking forward yes, to that. I got a chance to see one of your little blooper trailers. Did you? It did not look like you were a very big of a fan of horseback riding. Oh, I love it. I love horseback riding. It turned out that uh, <laughs> Lucas ended up being better than me, and he had never ridden a horse before. And I love riding horses so much. I, it was not my horse, and I was like, this is not near as much fun as being at the house. <laughs> and then see that they're... You know, they're pulling hard for me, and that means more than, than anything. You know, that, that almost means more than taking home the actual trophy to see everybody so excited about it. Can you sign as you talk? Because we only gave yeah. you for a minute and a half. Go, Why talk. Why do they do that? Why do they pull me away after, like, two seconds? We figured if we take out all my questions, you'll be able to say a lot. So go ahead. Tell us what you want to talk about. Go ahead. <laughs> well, let's see. Let me see. Um, I just got back from rehearsals for the performance and I'm trying to beat what I did last year, trying desperately. And the one problem is that a million things could go wrong with this performance and I'm hoping I don't get hurt or killed. What? So hopefully that it all goes well and there are no injuries. I'm really excited because, you know, I get to write my own songs and, and they're all very personal. They're all about, you know, I don't know, the guy that I like and it didn't work out or something like that. You know, it's, <laughs> it's they all, all these people in the songs have a character. And they're, you know, some of them are walking around the room today, but you know. <laughs> and now another episode of Really with Costi and Chris. Hi, and welcome to this week's edition of Really with Costi and Chris. Only this time, it's Marcy Brown. Because Chris is in Florida. 
Really? Really, Chris? And really, when you go on vacation, you need to tell the people you work for. Like Lisa Dent and Ramblin' Ray. I came in here yesterday and they didn't know you were on vacation. Till next week. They pay your bills, Chris. Really? Let your bosses know when you go on vacation. Really? That's all we're saying. In other news, crazy 911 calls. A lady in Texas called 911 for this emergency. Not enough shrimp in her extra shrimp fried rice. Really, people, this is not an emergency. An emergency with some shrimp would be if one of those shrimp jumped off your plate and glitched your face like that. <laughs> this is just life's little annoyance. And again, when they get your order wrong, if I called 911 every time that happened to me, they would block my calls permanently, even if I was having a stroke and or a heart attack. Really? Really. Come home, Chris. Really.